Okay, Omar, so what are you cooking today? I will be cooking some very simple tapas, uh, some green asparagus, uh, sauté with garlic and flambe with a bit of good sherry, mm. some ham and manchego, uh, some prawns a la plancha, very traditional and great in flavours and ingredients you can find in any supermarket these days. Brilliant. Well, I'm also doing two really simple recipes. Uh, I'm starting with a black pudding and chickpea dish, which is really kind of hearty, lovely, wintry food. Very Sounds quick good. to throw together, though. And then some deep-fried squid with aioli. Thomasina is kicking off with her black pudding tapas. Just bash my garlic and take out this green in a bit, which is a bit bitter, I find. Yes, and this is what uh, what gives you that uh, aftertaste until tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thomasina chops the garlic and adds it to the onion and raisins sweated in a pan. I'm also going to add in cinnamon. Lovely, just a little touch of cinnamon. Mm. That's a good pinch and my black pudding. Now, there is something wonderful about black pudding. Absolutely love it. And the Spanish, like the Mexicans, have this kind of love of pigs and all the bits and yes, picking nose to tail. The, Great, the, isn't it? My mum is from Burgos, and that's the capital of black pudding. Oh. Uh, actually, black pudding in Spanish is called morcilla de Burgos. Yeah. So it's a well-known ingredient for me. Taking the skin off, I'm chopping it into small cubes, because I want this black pudding to really break up. Thomasina adds the black pudding to the pan, followed by tin chickpeas, which she's drained. I'm going to add a little bit of water, and those are going to simmer down gently while I get on with my ali oli. Al i oli means olive oil and garlic. And, ah, uh, of course uh, it does. For the ali oli, she adds a good splash of white wine vinegar to two egg yolks and two cloves of garlic and seasons with salt and pepper. Then gives it a good blitz before starting to add the olive oil. You just start slowly. That's the secret. That's the just key. a thin, steady stream. Now, what I like to use with ali oli is half olive oil, half sunflower oil, because yeah. I find that olive oil is very strong flavour. And do it exactly makes it quite bitter. Same. You do the same. Yes. Yes. Next, she adds the sunflower oil. You see my mayonnaise is already binding. Yes. I can add it in a thicker stream. Once all the sunflower oil is combined, the alioli is ready for the next stage. So I'm just going to add a little squeeze of lemon to this. Ideal. And it's ready to turn out. That into... has a very nice texture. Yeah, lovely and thick. With Thomasina's alioli done, it's over to Omar to kick off with his asparagus tapas. So I'm going to start by, uh, if you can give me a quick yeah, help, of course. just by taking the stock that's, as it breaks and that's the, 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 the hard bit. And so they grow this in Spain as well, do they? Oh, yeah. We are big producers of asparagus, both white and green. Perfect. So all I'm going to do is just blanch them in salty water for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Omar leaves his asparagus to cook and chops some parsley. And a bit of garlic, as you said, but in this recipe, I like that punch of the middle. Yeah, delicious, <laughs> delicious. Omar adds the sliced garlic along with some Spanish extra virgin olive oil to a pan. OK, okay. so these asparagus are already blanched. They are ready. He drains the asparagus and plunges it into iced water to stop the cooking and retain the colour. I'm just going to take them out of there because that's all the green that we need, Lovely. as you can see. Next, Omar turns his attention to the all-important Serrano ham for his dish. I love Spanish Just, ham. Yeah, I think actually have... Spain makes maybe the best hams in the world. Completely. <laughs> we have the Serrano ham, that okay. is the white pig that we do in the serranias in the mountains, and the Iberico. So you can see it's nice, light and golden. I'm just going to add the jamón serrano. So uh, now all I'm going to do is to add the asparagus, which are, have been already been blanched. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, a bit of flames. Omar seasons with salt and pepper and adds some dry sherry to the pan. Give it a good plum there. Lovely. And Ooh. this is ready. Lovely. That's how simple it is. Thomasina is sure her simple tapas of crispy squid with alioli and black pudding and chickpeas will win over the judges, while Omar's certain his grilled prawns and asparagus and serrano ham are just right to kick off a Spanish night which simple tapas will be perfect.